Vanessa, will you, can you record? Do you mind? I am recording. Okay, awesome. Hey, if you guys don't know, that is Vanessa Roberts, who she, a lot of people think she runs support, which she does, but she's really our operations manager, and she kind of she runs a lot of things here, email marketing, um, keeping us out of trouble, you know, all, all sorts of random goodies. And uh, she's super nice if you've never met her. But uh, Vanessa, please say hello to everybody. So there's a lot Hi, of people everybody. here. Hi, <laughs> everybody. Nice to meet you all. If I don't know you yet, I can't imagine that I don't know you yet. I feel like we've got such a close-knit community. Yeah, and what we tried to do today, you guys... Vanessa, let me tell them that mm -hmm. we did our best, and I know that some people, and I want to, okay, what we're doing on today's call is a soft relaunch of our new Voice Drops product. And I'm just going to tell you, because I don't like people who don't tell you things, right? And some of you already are members, so for those of you, I don't want to ever waste your time, and so that's why I'm telling you that right now. Um, and I'm going to kind of put some cool things together. Um, and you guys, I have good news <laughs> uh, for those that were following, and so many of you helped and you know really gave me a lot of feedback and advice. Um, I actually just we had our election here in the U.S., so I can now change this to say elected official. That's scary. <laughs> uh, one school board seat, 2016. You guys are the first ones to ever see that written down ever, including myself. So. Thank you so many of you that were um, instrumental and you just super nice. Yeah, I won, Jimmy. I won, uh, I won pretty big, you guys. Um, I'll take a quick aside in the interest of keeping this more informational, educational, and not hypey. So here is, um, let me show you. Uh, where did it go, Brian? Um, Hang on, it's saying forbidden. Oh, right, here it is, here it is. All right, so I'm still excited. You know, it's in the newspaper, so it must be must be true, right? <laughs> um, or it's on the Internet. So, yeah, so I won 64% to 36 by about 16,000 votes. And remember, guys, I've never done anything. I've never run for office in high school, in college, ever before. I've never done anything political in my life. I'm not actually very good at you know, I try to be nice and civil, but I wouldn't say that I'm good at being political. So I was very fortunate to win, and, you know, my opponent's a very nice lady, and, you know, I, I hate that one of us had to lose, but uh, but it was a fun contest, and I'm excited that I won. And so anyway, there it is right there. Um, all right, so let's get back to it. Um, so we put this together. Um, or I push Vanessa on. I'm not going to introduce myself to you guys. Most of, you know, we already know each other. So I've been in local marketing a long time, and uh, I've got four children. I, I went the college route, but then decided to become an entrepreneur, and I'm so happy I did. Um, exciting on my end is, is this election that I did. It's more of a volunteer thing, um, but I'm excited to be a part of it. So, no, thank you guys. Um, yeah, <laughs> Mark Lucas, that's funny. <laughs> um, okay, so it, the, the problem, all right, there's a song by Led Zeppelin, a song in an album um, called The Song Remains the Same, I believe, if I happen to remember. Somebody who's, uh, who's up on it, correct me. But me and my buddies, uh, we talk music. Music, rock and roll music, trivia and theory, all the <laughs> via text and stuff. Uh, what's the best rock song from this group and things like that? And we're arguing about Led Zeppelin. So, if you guys don't have sound, log out and log um, log out and log back in. John, log out and log back in. We'll fix it. All right. So, all right. The same problem exists for almost everybody here. Now, some of you are in my voice drops group, which is what I'm going to talk to you about. Some of you are not. We made some tweaks and changes, and some of you guys know these things, some of you don't. So, um, but you all need clients, and you need a way to scale. If you're working full time, part time, um, it doesn't matter. You need a way to scale so that you can actually grow the business and make money, as opposed to just get one client and get paid a little bit of money. Um, I don't like that slide. Okay, so. Local marketing truly is 
quote unquote, the biggest opportunity out there. I'm not even kidding. Um, doesn't matter where you live in the world. It's, it's growing like crazy. Local businesses are spending money on all the products and services that we do. So if you look, this is from Street Fight Magazine. I bought some reports from them. And if you've never heard of Street Fight Magazine, it's worth checking out, you guys. Um, just Google Street Fight uh, Magazine. And so you can see um, stats, and you can see they need help in all these areas. And I, I found it comical. This is a couple months old. I found it comical that SEO was the number one thing they needed help with. <laughs> they don't even know what they need help with. Let's agree on that right now. Um, but it's a lot of things. And, and they truly do need a hand. So... In terms of what do they see is effective for their business. It doesn't matter what kind of business, right? What do they see that's pretty effective? You can see digital in their eyes is the most effective platform. And guys, I would completely agree. Digital right now, I, I ran this political campaign, right? Um, I'm, I'm going to leave the PowerPoint. I'm going to keep this thing really interactive. So I just showed you the results. Um, I'm going to show you something else. Watch this. I actually didn't need any votes on election day. And you're thinking, well, what do you mean you didn't need any votes? All right? You didn't need any votes. Look at advanced in-person voting. I had 23,000. Total votes for my opponent was 21,000. So you're going, wow, that's pretty good. So if you effectively employ digital, you're going to drive a response or an action. So I was able to hit it hot and heavy with Facebook in this case, you guys. This, this was a lot of Facebook video, right, that really helped. And geo, next slide, right, geo-targeting. And I really laser-focused in on certain precincts and demographics and stuff with videos. And it, what, what was interesting to me is I could have got zero votes on Election Day and still won because I, was, I, I got out early and got ahead of the curve. So when business owners are thinking, you know, what works, I hope Facebook is considered online advertising, which I think it is in the case of the survey. Um, what's interesting to me is just how effective you can make it, like video ads and stuff. Um, so let's see. Now the spend rate is tripling. At the end of last year, We've gone from 12 million to 33 to 47. So in eight years, it's tripled on digital. Other media has declined or stayed about the same, except for movie theaters at the bottom. Look at cinema. Cinema down around uh, 10x gain because movie theaters have finally started to capture, um, you know, to go after that captive audience and sitting in a seat eating popcorn and chatting, waiting for the, uh, the movie to start, whatever it may be. And now they're showing ads and charging money. Um, and I actually did a movie theater ad, but I'll talk about that another time. <laughs> um, let's see. So yeah, the spend on digital is dwarfing everything else. If you look at it, this is uh, Burrell and Associates. If you look at it, radio, TV, and newspaper together is, is about the spend of the, that's happening now on digital, right? So it's not even close. Now another thing, how many of you guys are specialists? How many of you guys say, I'm a reputation guy or gal, I'm an I'm a SEO, I'm a websiter, I'm a, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm PPC, whatever it is. Put a one if you consider yourself a specialist and a two if you consider yourself, you know, more, more gen general, if you will. Yep, so lots of specialists, which I'm not disagreeing, but lots of twos. Oh, I saw Rick a minute ago. Rick, where are you? Rick Newman, um, Brent, and others. So, okay, now look at this. This is interesting. Majority of business owners, this is for, I, I paid like a grand or two for this survey. Majority of business owners want one vendor to work with, they want one neck to choke, so to speak. So Alfred says he's a two but wants to be a one. But remember this, the business owner, 
they want to work with a single provider. So it's very interesting because I would have said specialist too, by the way. But the reality is if you say you're a specialist, what, what they really want you is to specialize in generating customers or leads or phone calls um, and not in, a, not in a single internet strategy. One provider is better. It's, a net, it's one net to choke. I always say that. Um, when, I, when, I, um, when I was in software, uh, one of the sayings that we used to, we used to say, because you know, when I was no longer at IBM and I started working at smaller companies so I could get paid more and have a better title and whatnot, but uh, at the end of the day, nobody ever got fired for buying from IBM. No big company ever got you know, an employee didn't get fired from for buying from IBM. But the important takeaway is that there's an opportunity to be the expert or authority on what you do. Linnell just said it is well, this is timing was perfect. Being the authority on local marketing is actually the most important. All right. So The premise is how to land clients. So how do I land new clients fast, right? How many of you have less than five clients rather than do tiers and stuff? Just give me a, a yes or a why if you have less than five or an N if you, if you have more than five. Because five or more starts, the income starts to go up for you. So let's see. Yeah, I thought so. So a lot of a lot of you are less. All right. Do you guys all understand this concept? So this is a sales funnel. So with a traditional funnel, you create activity and do marketing, right? whatever that means at the top, and it drives interested prospects or suspects even that slowly become more targeted over time. And then what happens is, out of the large number of kind of sort of interested people, you're, that's when you're going to get your deals. You're going to get the more interested, you're going to get a proposal out or a quote or something, then you're going to land a deal. That's how it works. Everybody good on that? Does that make sense? How many let's let's ask this. How many prospects a month do you think you need to generate to be successful? Um, I will tell you that it would be more than twenty. We don't have to play a poll or anything. Uh, more than twenty is the answer. Now the problem is how do you get more than twenty? How do you go from where we are now, from what you're doing now, to having 20, 30, 40 good conversations a month, right? Okay. So, this is where, this is the big disconnect that happens, not only in local marketing, but in basically all of sales, all of, all of traditional business, but specifically to what we're doing, this is the disconnect. So the fact that people struggle getting demand generated on the front end is what affects the ability to build a revenue stream and income and land clients at the end of the day, right? That's it. There's nothing more. That is the magic. So the premise is what can you, you know, what if you could take a shortcut? The easy button. Um, I, is that Staples or Office Depot? I can't remember. <laughs> it's one of them. So what if you could take the shortcut? and go from a couple you know, conversations a month to 20, 30 conversations. That's obviously what everybody needs so that you're gonna be successful. And that's what we do inside our Voice Drop Studio program. And Voice Drop Studio, I haven't actually made it available, just to put it in perspective, I haven't made it available for, since December of 15. So it's been a while. And we've done a lot of, <laughs> thanks, Ray. Uh, yeah, the slide, oh, you guys, I, I just, 
I feel so much better. Can I just tell you for a second? I'm going to take a quick pause. Senator, you're here so funny. Um, I'm going to take a quick pause. Um, go to webinar must have been frozen up. I was seeing like no response and they're like literally not even a you're an idiot Brian or or you know whatever. It, so you guys weren't seeing anything moving. So did you guys not see the funnel or anything? Can I ask you guys that? Oh man, hold on. Let me go back for one second because this is kind of what I wanted to. How about now? Can you see it now? It must have been a go to webinar glitch. All right, good. So here's the point. At the top, and I'll be real short, at the top you need a lot of balls in the air so the few will come out of the bottom. You need a lot of activity. If you don't do this, you will not make any money. And that's the problem. And if you're in sales for, like I was in software sales, if you're in software sales and you don't have good leads on the front end, you don't make any money because you can't get any proposals out and then you can't get any deals. It's how it works. It's exactly how it works. So you have to fix that. You absolutely have to fix that. And I don't even care if you're selling products on Amazon. If you don't generate interested people on the front end, you aren't gonna sell any widgets or products. Now you're counting on Amazon there, but you also have to, you have to work. So you have to somehow solve this. And the, the point was, most people, you're not alone. Most people struggle with this poor guy here, right? Most people struggle. With voice drops, we can do what I like to call the easy button or a shortcut. And voice drops is our cloud-based software that we last released about a year ago. I mean, I think I might have done a webinar in January with somebody, but that was it. Um, we've We've been pretty... Um, pretty tight with the group, um, and, it, and it's attrition is very, very low, and I'll, and I'll show you why, and I think you'll understand in a second. Um, so what is voice drops? Voice drops exploits one simple concept. How many of you guys, let me ask you, how many of you guys would rather cold call or walk in to meet a new customer, or would you rather have a customer call you like Rick I see your name here so Rick would you rather walk in or cold call him or would you rather have a business owner call you yeah no way right call me <laughs> exactly so that's that's the fundamental principle behind what we're doing at voice drops all of us are kinda sucky at sales and by sucky it means that's just not what we want to do all day long some of us are actually kinda good some of the members here um, I am not that great at sales by by any means, but I will tell you, you don't have to be great if they call you. Like Jill said, I want to have them call me. Um, no, Rick, I'm really not. I mean, Sean will, well, Sean will tell you. He, he's like, Brian, no, you're not. So the whole concept with voice drops is that we take a voicemail message and we send it to 500 people or 1,000 people. Now what's cool is we don't really ring the phone. Hey, Sean, are you over there? You got, you got 30 seconds? Hang on, you guys. Let's, let's do something live. Let's, um, yeah, <laughs> Mike Smith, you are obviously the kind of guy I, I could always use if people like Mike Smith. Um, Sean, I've got a bunch of people on the phone. I'm talking about voice drops. And... I am saying, and Sean's, Sean's sales manager, Sean's good. So I'm saying that I would rather have people call me yes. than me call them. Because it's a power shift, right? When they call you, they're asking you for help. When I call somebody or you call somebody on the phone directly or you go and meet them, it may not be the same thing. You know, when they call you, they're either warm or hot. They don't, they're not always hot, you guys, like Rick just said. But they're at least lukewarm. They're not cold. Right. So, Sean, give me an example. Um, man, this is off the cuff. Um, sorry, dude. Pressure. Yeah, the pressure. Um, if you're going to send a message, let's say we wanted to land insurance agents. We wanted to sign up some insurance agents. Right. 
give me a script, give, give me a 20, 30 second message that we might send out to land insurance agents that, that gets the phone ringing and has insurance guys calling us back in the office. Yeah. I, I think, guys, I think the, I can give you at least the key buzzwords or keywords that these guys really get turned on about. They, they, I don't want to say they don't like to prospect, but they love leads. They love being able to obtain or make contact with customers that they typically through direct mail or them doing it themselves can't reach. I can tell you they love, when I, when I mention lists and I can reach guys like turning 65, Medicare, uh, prospects for them, they love it. They eat it up because they cannot reach those clients otherwise. So I always mention, you know, the, the list generating part of it. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Before even that, now listen, let me play this. This is Sean's voice, you guys. I want to play this. I just found it. Um, ready? Let's see if this works. Hey, I'm sorry I missed you. Um, this is Brian. Um, I was given your name to refer some folks who possibly need insurance. Uh, can you give me a call? Um, my number is 702-830-9490. Uh, again, this is Brian, uh, the number 702-830-9490. Thanks a lot. Okay. So... I'm sorry, I missed you. Oh, um, no, don't, don't play again. <laughs> so that, that, that's an example. Now let me show you something a little different. Let me show you this. Um, how about this one? Hi, this is Lori. I have a source of new referrals for insurance agents, and I don't have anyone who can take them right now. Um, call me back if you have availability. My number is 678-498-5733. Thanks. Okay. Two scripts. I'm going to ask you guys. We'll keep this interactive, right? Ready? What do you think? So if we call 100 people with both those scripts, 100 insurance agents, which one's going to do better? This is a, this is a quiz. Uh, there's... There is a right answer. Oh, you couldn't hear the last one? Um, Brent said the second one. Jimmy T said the second one. Mona said Sean's. Andy said Sean's. Um, first one sounds like a regular guy. Listen to that. Now, Rick just hit on something. Sounds like a normal folk, you know, a common guy. Brent said the woman, and Brent, my head was there too. Jim, Henry all said the woman. John Wilson, the, the woman. Okay. Because of the tone, I like the, the woman. Here, it's split down the middle. I like this one, the chick. <laughs> so, yes, Ray, Ray Gay kind of hit it on the, the, nut, the nutshell here. He said, so you're going to use voice drops first to land the insurance salesman that want to hire you, and then you're going to use voice drops to find paying customers. Am I right? Yes, you're right, Ray. So let's look at – I'm going to show you real data. I'm leaving the PowerPoint behind because it gets old. So, um, All right, here is the raw data. So we did four. We did 495 calls. It's called Brian's script. It generated 81 callback. Yeah, that was good. 81 callbacks. Lori's. We did 1,099 uh, 94 calls, and we only got 17 callbacks. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If you had asked me, I would have said Lori's all day long over Sean's. But look at this. We tested, this is only six we're showing in here, six different messages, completely different, and look at the different results. So that is uh, very intriguing, um, so to speak. So um, you think it was because of the intro, Andy said. I, I think it was... This one part, I was given, I was given your name to refer some folks that could possibly, notice the raising voice on possibly, need insurance. So those right there, as an example, are some of the, you know some of the scripts in voice drops. Now with voice drops, we do direct to the cell phone. So what that means is the cell phone or the voice over IP phone doesn't ring. Now I will tell you that in the real world sometimes it makes like a minute fraction ring. Sure. A chirp. And then, it, then it's gone and then there's a voicemail, right? Um, it's like they missed a call, so to speak. 
Um, Rick said, yeah, it didn't sound like a... Um, hold on, yeah, I'll play it again. Hang on, it's, a, it's good. Let's do this again. Let me go back to it. Um, let me play Sean's again. This is Sean talking as if he's Brian, but here it goes. Um, I was giving you... I'll start at the beginning. Hey, uh, I'm sorry I missed you. Um, this is Brian. Uh, I was given your name to refer some folks who possibly need insurance. Uh, can you give me a call? Um, my number is 702-830-9490. Uh, again, this is Brian. Uh, the number is 702-830-9490. Thanks a lot. He had a couple ums. He used the word folks. Right? Piece of cake. So, now, Lori's wasn't bad. I personally love Lori's. Um, now, the other one that was really good on here was a guy named, was, was it Doug's? What was the other high converting one? No, it was Mark's relative to the amount of scripts converted really hell. Yeah, listen to this one, you guys. This one did pretty well. Hey, I'm sorry I missed you. Um, my name's Mark. Um, I have quite a few referrals for insurance agents. Um, your name came referred to me along with a few other agents. Um, if you're interested uh, in taking on some new clients, uh, please give me a call. Again, my name is Mark, and my uh, phone number is 650-564-4696. Thanks a lot. Bye. Guys. Hey, I'm sorry I missed oh, you. Um, <laughs> my name is Mark. That one went really well, too. 41 calls. It didn't convert as well as the one for Brian. Okay. Lori sounded like a telemarketer is what somebody said. Okay. All right. What does a message to the consumer for insurance sounds like? Um, Calling about your Medicare questions. Yeah, Sean, will you just pretend you're just, right. I don't know where it is, will you just say one as if you're calling a consumer right now? Just right. say a message as I, if you're. Yeah, I think the most, the most common one we see today, again, is this, uh, turning 65 uh, Medicare prospect for the insurance agents. So the most common one we do is, uh, hi, you know, this is Sean. I'm calling about your Medicare enrollment and just have a few questions. Uh, please give me a call back. I'm at 555-1212. Um, that is the most common. We call it T65 Medicare drop uh, voice script that we use virtually almost every day. Hi, it's Sean. Uh, calling about your Medicare enrollment. Just have a few questions. Please give me a call and then the phone number. And that's always a solid return every single time. Now, here's another one. Andy in, on the call live just said, guys, another trick I use is saying in the message that I have an appointment this afternoon, this afternoon at 4, so if I'm away, leave me a message. All of a sudden, you've taken it from sounding like a telemarketer to sounding like a real average Joe who's calling up and, oh, yeah, if I'm out of the office, I've got an appointment at four, just leave me a message and I'll call you back. Right. It's, a great, it's a great idea, by the way, uh, Andy. Um, so, let's see. So, all right. So, we go direct to the cell phone and voice numbers to avoid the ringing. So, by not ringing the phone, we avoid the irritation that sometimes happens, right? Um... Yeah, um, Alfred, give me a second, and I will. Alfred, I just saw your question. Oh, I just took insurance as an example, Larry, because I had it open in the members area. It, it absolutely has zero tie-in to insurance. It's just one thing you can do. So, But we'll come back to it. Um, so it's really not intrusive. With no call being placed, no dialing occurring, no charge to the subscriber for you know a phone call, so to speak, right? Um, all right. Now, by bypassing the phone and going straight into voicemail, you've created a situation where one of two things is going to happen. One, somebody's going to press delete, like, see you later, telemarketer or whatever. I don't want to talk to you. All right, that's cool. Or two, man, I, I, I'm interested. Let me, what's going on with this? Or I'm kind of interested. Let me call. And then they call you. And now when they call, you are positioned 
in a more powerful model. You bypass the gatekeeper. Thanks, Linnell. You're like really helpful, so thank you. Uh, so we use a TCP IP based solution that does, in essence, think of it as an email, but it's a voicemail being emailed you guys directly into the server. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Since we're compliant, or no, since we don't violate these various laws that are out there, the TCPA and FCC, and there's a bunch of acts and regulations both in the U.S. and Canada. We work in the U.S. and Canada. Now, I will tell you, we're getting pretty close to U.K. and Australia, um, probably either sometime in the next three months. So by not making a call, you're compliant with these, these rules that are out to, uh, what's the word, to re legislate telemarketers. So, all right. Yeah, we have a do not call list scrub and all this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, this is about uh, voice drops, Alexander. Um, so, we also have come out with this strategy. It's more of a strategy than a, than a we've created this system called LUDs. Actually, I did a while back, uh, last year. And we now can go to landline bypassing the person and getting to the voicemail. We never play messages to any live answers. We don't, we don't go to any live answers. We only go to the voicemails. And it's kind of this LUD system we put together. The same thing, except it's not TCP IP based. So, so now we can go to a year ago, we didn't really have that. Or it was in a, it was in a more infantile form, so to speak. But now we can get our messages into landlines. And when you say, Brian, why does that matter? Well, let me tell you why it matters. Well, actually, let me show you, right? We're going to keep with the showing rather than telling approach. So let me go into, actually, no, let me, I got a slide with it. Let me show you. I'll show you on the slide. Um, I got a slide called this one. This slide is one of our clients in, it doesn't matter what niche, because I can't remember, but they got over 300 calls. This is just the other day. This is like right now. Notice the date range on the bottom. So why does landline matter? There are more landlines than there are cell phones. Fact. Now, it's changing over time, which is even better for us, but as soon as we added in landlines, this thing went from uh, from awesome to totally awesome. <laughs> Sorry to use those words, but I'm not kidding. Now we're, we're delivering on the fulfillment side, because remember earlier when somebody asked, is this to land the customer or to fulfill? Both. So whether you're trying to get more clients on the front end or you're trying to fulfill, now we're able to drive ridiculous amounts of calls like this. Here's another one. This is one here. This is one Sean and I are doing right now. We're at 290 something, 290 calls. This is a new client that's paying us money monthly and instead of doing anything else, we needed something we could sell them that would scale and would allow us to, you know, to really do this and fulfill it in minutes. It took 11 minutes to fulfill this deal and we make about six, uh, this is 700, 697 a month. So, it's a great question. Well, Michael, let me come back to it. Michael asked about are you getting paid per call. We, we've done both, Michael. Um, and this one is a flat fee deal. Um, so, what I'm telling you is the service is amazing. Um, we've maintained for over a year, 600 plus members. I don't know about you guys, how many of you guys have joined a marketing platform where somebody charges you a monthly fee, found out that it maybe isn't as good, maybe it isn't as good as it sounded on a webinar and you quit? Because I have, my hand's up, I just pressed one. If that's you, go ahead and put a one in the box because you, you know, let's be honest right now, right? Yes, Rick said yeah, a hell of a lot of yeses right now. A bunch of yeses, Andy, I, I like it. Well, me too, you guys. Well, going back, I can't remember when, um, version one of this came out in the spring of 14. The voice drops release was in early to mid-15. We're at the end of 2016. 
We we at our peak we're 783 members. We have 620 now, and it's been consistent plus or minus one or two on any given month. So with virtually no attrition, something's working right. Our members are in the U.S., Canada, the United Kingdom, the Middle East. We have a few people, one guy in the United Arab Emirates, one guy in Dubai, and, and a few in Israel. We have uh, in Asia. So we have um, 95 – I'm just this is just facts, keeping it real. 95% of the activity – is focused here in the U.S. Five percent is in Canada. Doesn't mean Canada doesn't work. It just means that everybody's calling on the U.S. Um, unlike and like I just said, unlike most internet marketing products, platforms, tools, softwares, whatever, our system is being heavily used by its members. Matter of fact, we just had a lunch meeting this morning where our uh, and I'll tell you more on the fulfillment side how it works. The volume is increasing steadily week after week, and they're lobbying me to hire another person to take the pressure off. I kid you not. So, all right. We're sending hundreds of thousands of voicemail messages a week. I, I will tell you, there is one person working a deal right now in the group. It's not me. I, I wish this was me. For a 30 million voicemail drop in the solar industry, and I only say solar because one of you were just asking about solar. And I'm not going to do the math, but multiply. This is a, you know, <laughs> she's only getting a few pennies. Her profit on the deal is a half a penny. So if somebody figure out what a half a penny is on 300 um, on 30 million, that's the profit she quoted. This lady's awesome too. Um, but anyway, so deals are closing every single week. Sean's closed a couple in insurance this week. The reason I did insurance on the call a minute ago is we are focused on insurance here in our office right now. And so I had uh, I had a page up with sample scripts. So we have most members using the product on a regular basis. Yeah, it's 150000 is the profit on the deal. Um, thank you, uh, Rick. No, it's not one and a half million, uh, just decimal, y'all. A bunch of you said that. Um, you can sell any service. I don't care what widget you want to sell. You can sell a variety of services. You name it. I, I put a few up here. At the end of the day, though, you need to sell the most important thing that every business wants. Sean, before you were working with us, you owned your own company. What was the number one thing that you wanted? I wanted the phone to ring. I wanted customers. One phone calls. That's it. Guys, the whole reason somebody wants SEO or reputation or anything else is what Sean just said. They, they got to have phone calls to stay in business. Ah, Larry asked a great question. How do you get phone calls? How do you get phone calls to call? Yeah, well, Walt, we will. Um, Go on your appointment, man. Always go on the appointment. <laughs> I love it. Get it done, and, and we will have you a replay. All good. You need qualified leads, okay? And we're going to get on to that. So kind of the opportunity with Voice Drops, in my opinion, has changed everything about my business. Voice Drops has given me more time in my business than I now ran for political office. Somehow I won, and that's another story, but I'd be glad to share. I used Voice Drops on the campaign. Uh, two different times, and I did a lot of Facebook and some yard signs, a couple yard signs, <laughs> about a thousand of them. But um, so the opportunity is immense because it allows you to scale your business. I don't care what you're selling; you can sell authority. My friend Jack Mize sells authority, and what's authority? It's building authority for the business owner in a number of ways, right? To create an expert or credibility out of him. The sky's the limit on what you can charge. Websites, typically, my friends that are good website people do a grand to three grand uh, per site. Now, that it kind of stinks with websites unless you can have a steady stream of sites coming in. What if you could do three websites a week, every week, and just automate that process? And what if you obviously used an offshore team to help you? Now you've got a funnel and a system in place that's going to make money. Somebody asked about leads. 25 bucks a lead, there was 300 calls. Let's divide 300 and a half. Because when I do per lead, I get rid of the garbage. I don't charge my clients for garbage calls. 
So let's cut 300 down to 150. And then let's take 30 more off because maybe they weren't long enough. Maybe they were too short. So now we got 120. So now you multiply 120 times $25. It's a couple of grand, right? Reputation, mobile, SEO. At the end of the day, oh, and I'll talk all about the script. That's a really good question, Todd. Um, sell, the answer is all of us do as a team. Sell video creation and video marketing. Super hot, right? Okay. Network marketing. I don't know anybody who's involved in network marketing, but we have um, been crushing it with three or four members in network marketing. And they're growing their you got to forgive me because I'm not up to speed on the terms. They're downline, and I don't know if that's a common, if the current term, but back when I was younger, that was kind of the term. They're crushing it out, adding members to their downline using it. So um, we have a company that's one of our biggest people. They use voice drops to add marketers or resellers to their platform. Real estate. We're about to unleash an amazing real estate program into voice drops. And you go, Brian, what do you mean it's amazing? Because we're split testing, I think, like 15 scripts. Um, and, you know, a lot of times people say stuff and they say they're doing stuff, but they're really not. So <laughs> I actually just did a call at 1 o'clock with some of our other members, and I was chatting about it, and I said, what do you all think about our real estate scripts, right? And they're like, oh, yeah, let's look at them. So real estate. This is scripts I'm, we're testing right now. Hi, Brian. It's Scott here, and I just wanted to let you know about our special package deal to get prospective buyers we've got coming up in December. Hi, this is Roger Weaver. I know cold calls work, but who has a time? I know a way to get your message out to potential rental buyers. Here's one about uh, V-cards. Here's a good one from Joseph on crushing the market. Are you missing new home buyer calls? Kind of like you did this call. I can help. Text me back at... You can see all these scripts. Sorry I missed you. This is Justin, and I have a quick question about a property listing. Now, I would have said this is Justin Smith. I like first name and last name. But we're testing them all. Do you see these? Somebody said, Where, how do you do the scripts? We get the members to generate everything you can dream up, and then I fund it, and we test it, and then we know what works and doesn't work, and there's no BS. And you can see them, seven, eight, Nine, this is a good one from Vita. I'm looking to work with an agent who can take calls from prospective sellers. Ask for Vita. <laughs> um, I like this one. It's Sean and I do this general message a lot. Hello, this is Brian. I have a possible referral for you, but I wanted to connect with you first. Can you call me back? 555-1234. Thank you again, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you can see these scripts that we're testing out. So, all right. Let me go back to our actual presentation and get out of this. Uh, <laughs> I'm in this other presentation. So that's just, that's something we're doing with the members. So you can drive open house traffic. we got a guy named Steve Johnson that is a beast in real estate. Um, I'm a, uh, I mean, he's killing it. You can drive listings for agents. Shorten the time to sale on virtually any property. We are, we are testing all this because the only way you get anywhere is if you test. Insurance, I just talked about it, I'm not gonna go through it. Property, casualty, life, health agents, it doesn't matter. Contractors, we all know contractors. Those guys thrive. My brother is an AC contractor. If his phone doesn't ring, he's angry. Now he's 6'4", 300 pounds, I don't wanna make him angry. So, you know, you want his phone to ring, right? Um, financial planners, and eh, this one's been so-so, keeping it real, this one hasn't been that great. Um, mortgage, mortgage uh, people. I see Chick on here. Chick's a friend of mine. He is uh, West Coast. Um, prequels, re refinance, uh, follow up with dead leads, Chick, that came in from other sources, um, whatever it may be. Medical and dental. Really cool to drive kind of custom cosmetic procedures. Invisalign, stop smoking, veneers, weight loss, skin appointments, uh, facials, Botox, that kind of stuff. Um, one day special. Um, any business, any customer reactivation, filling open tables, booking appointments for new services, driving old people in, car dealerships are killing it. My good friend Sid Michael is absolutely killing it in car dealerships. And what is he doing? Nothing different than you see on these slides. He just does it. 
No joke. He sits down, he does it, and he just does it over and over again. Um, Brian Gibbs joined and within like two days got, got a call right away. Loved it, you know, because the customer called him. Here's an old one uh, from Greg Simmons. He just landed a voice drop account. This was an insurance agent. Um, Ken Menarek got his first sale. This is the one I showed you earlier. This is from just this week or last week. This is 300 plus calls into an agent. This is fulfilling for an insurance agent. This one is, I don't remember. This is for a merchant services guy, I think. 290 calls in three days. Um, I'm going to answer the data, you guys. I'll answer the data for sure. Um, I'll answer all those data questions. This is, uh, hey, Sean, I have this slide, but I don't remember what it is, dude. Bruce White, Michigan Retailers, and I'm showing, it looks like 40-odd calls right now. Yeah, he's a uh, merchant service. Merchant services. So what merchant services is is like credit card processing, you guys. So he's calling on local businesses, and it's a tough industry, and so he's trying to generate um, actual phone calls for, for people that want to talk to him about getting credit card processing. Um, this is an old testimonial, but he's been an active member for a while, David Abair. He sent it out uh, to his carpet cleaning clients, immediately lit his phone up. He got three jobs out of his existing client base, 60, and that's out of 68 outbound voice drop messages that took less than 10 minutes. Each job was worth about 600, so it was an easy 1800 for him. Um, here's Anna. Sometimes she's on a call. She did a networking cable service guy. It's a pretty cool one. Randy, he did auto mechanics. We did a custom list based on birthdays, regardless of genders, with a certain level of income. Boom. Guys, totally crazy. This is a car dealer of mine from last year, and I'm still doing work with them. This is called Louis Heron Jeep Chrysler. They're east of Atlanta, and you can see the re their challenge was an empty showroom. They, weren't, they didn't have people coming in. They needed more used car inventory. How many of you guys know how I can help him get more used car inventory? What do you think? How can I do that? That's a, you're right, a lot of questions, right? All right, the way these guys get used car inventory is they go to an auction, but at an auction they compete against 50 other dealers or 100 or 200 dealers for the cars that are there, right? Roger got it. The way they do it is buyback. They buy, buy back cars from people. Right? Okay. So anyway, lucrative account. This is common. Sales manager called me. This is from, uh, this must have been when I last did a presentation, January of this year. After the first hour and asked me to slow it down or do something as they could not handle the volume of calls. Sean did some uh, work with a big speaking group, um, Dave Van Hoos, Speaking Empire, and those guys. We sent them 900 calls in like three and a half hours. Crazy. Um, let's see. All right, I'm going to tell you, you guys, you're going to love, hey, st stick around. I'm not going to hit you with any big numbers. It's going to be very painless. You're going to love it. I, I, I told Vanessa and Sean that I would love to have new members, and then we'll close down for another year, and let's make all of you successful. So, right, 2016 still here. You have the chance to really cash in on this. So with Voice Drop Studio, we, I'm going to answer all your questions as we go. We do do-it-yourself, where you do the work, or done for you, where we do the work. So, yes, I mean that. You will say, like, a uh, chick says, Brian, give me a list of mortgage guys in Seattle, and we'll get it for him. We're gonna, now we're going to go direct to cell phone voice over IP or landlines. You're going to go direct to the voicemail. You're never going to, there's none of that press one annoying stuff. We could do that if you wanted, but I don't recommend it. Um, all right. We've got uh, multiple modules training. I'm not even here to, uh, man, I'm, uh, most people are going to read these bullets real slow and tell you why they're great. we got a lot of training. I'm skipping it. 
Is that okay? <laughs> I'm skipping it to get to the questions. We got all this. Lots of modules, lots of training. More training than you want. This is the question that everybody's asking me, so let me go to this. Jimmy just said, Brian, where do you get the list, the leads, the Glen Gary to Glen Ross leads, right? Where do you get them? Well, I buy them. I buy them. Yeah. So, here's how it works. I pay a few grand a month to various places, and I get fresh, updated lists. I get business and consumer. I get all across the U.S. and Canada. I can sort on home ownership, renter, renter, or buyer, male or female, age, income, business type. I'm going to give you the list loaded right in your account, or um, if you just want me to send it to you, well, the support team will email it to you. We will give you a professional voiceover of your script. If you want one of our team, and by professional, I don't mean polished and salesy because I've split test the data. I don't care what conventional wisdom says. I don't care. I know that if I test 18 different scripts and one of them's better, that's the one that you probably want. So we emulate what works. So any list, and there's unlimited, we, we pull unlimited lists for you in a given month. Those are for our, our um, basically, if you're on a monthly plan with us, there's no limit to us doing the work, the setup, or the list generation. So, our scripts are pretty effective. They weren't always effective. Some of them were horrible. But we keep testing them. Like right now, we are testing real estate. You guys saw it. I showed it to you because I wanted to keep it authentic. So, I'm going to put here... <laughs> um, It's coming right now. We're working on it. You see it. We're going to have all the raw results. Everything shared and disclosed and transparent. So, yeah, here's an example. Like, if you look at the six scripts here, and there was actually like 11 tested, I think, for this one. The one for Brian, this isn't Brian Anderson. This is another Brian. Um, Brian's message converted at 18%. So, the script that converts at 18% is the one you want. Anything converts at 1% or 2%. Almost anything. You can call. It doesn't matter. 1% or 2% converts all day long. All right. Cool. Sales support. We do all kind of sales support to help you, mainly in the Facebook group. Um, we've done some one-on-ones. We don't hesitate to jump on the phone when it makes sense with somebody to help them. But on the same token, we don't do a lot of rah-rah calls just to waste your time. We've tried to find that balance between training and help and, you know, things that are kind of a waste of time. So support desk. Um, support desk is pretty important for us. Um, we have a uh, – let me put – I have to add up. I'm going to add, let's see, we got Vanessa D, we got Vanessa, we got Nikki, Tammy, um, and then we also have Sean. He doesn't really work the support desk that often. He's on the retail side, but he's there. Um, so these are all people that are here to help you on our team. Um, because it's that's what it's about. Now, we have a Facebook mastermind. Now, I didn't do the traditional internet marketing webinar sales. I'm sorry. You're going to have to indulge me. I just I didn't have it in me today. You guys, it's been a crazy week. <laughs> um, I, I, I want you to make money. I want you to see the value of what we're doing, but I'm not going to hype you. Um, bonus number one is our Voice Drops Facebook group. It's awesome. It's where you're going to be able to interact with other people. There's some smart guys. There's a guy named Jay Lane in there. Super smart. There, um, Tom Mankey. This guy's bright. There are people in there that are really analyzing and taking things apart. Uh, a friend of mine in Atlanta, Mike Elias. Ken Lengel. There are members in there. I know by name. Um, hold on. Where's that sheet of paper? Ken Lengel's done 40 or 50 campaigns this month. Yeah, Thaddeus. 
there are some guys in there that are absolutely killing it. Now, we are announcing, our members don't even know. Um, I've just about got the date finalized. We are going to do a boot camp two-day event here in Atlanta in January. There's no cost for you to go if you're a member. I mean, you're basically my guest. For the most part, we'll feed you. Probably put some put some uh, iced tea in you or maybe some harder stuff, depending on what you prefer. And we, there's no speakers. There's nothing to buy. When you come, it's workshop making money. It's making money all day, all the time, from the minute you get here to the minute you leave. And that's what we do. You can bring a partner, a spouse, a child. You can bring one person with you. Um, now what I'm going to do for you for the next 30 days is Sean and myself will help you. For the next 30 days, we'll help you close every deal you get. Now some of you like Mike and a few others earlier, you don't need any help. So don't even take advantage of this, Mike. But for those of you that do need help or you're tentative, or maybe you work during the day and you're like, Brian, hey, I've got a guy we've already talked to once. Can you help me with him? We'll help you. We will help you for the next 30 days on as many deals as you have. And the number is going to be more than one. I promise you. It's going to be a lot. Um, for a fast action, what I'm going to do is we're going to give you white label access. We're going to let you customize our voice drop system to you. Remove our logo, customize our marketing materials, let it, let it appear like your own proprietary system. I'm not playing internet marketing today. I'm not adding all this up. I'm not going to tell you any of this. We have an elaborate system. We've got awesome software. It's completely done for you. If I didn't bring that out, let me do it right now. It's priceless. Why is it priceless? Because you tell me anything else out there that's landing clients multiple times a day in hundreds of calls. There isn't anything. There's nothing. So what I wanted to do is some of you, I'm going to invite all of you to try it. Matter of fact, there's, this is a small group of people. I custom selected the people with Vanessa that got invited to this call. There are 151 people on this call. 151. I want every single one of you to sign up right now. And I've never said that before, but I really do. I want every single one of you to sign up right now. And I'm going to do something for you that I haven't done for anybody ever before. I'm going to invest in you for the next week. I'm going to let you sign up for a dollar, of which the dollar is fully refundable. You can have your dollar back. And if you come down, I'll take you to lunch and we talk about it or something. But you can have your dollar back. But what I'm going to do, here's the sales page when you go there. I'm going to give you everything. I'm also going to give you credits. And I'm going to eat the cost of every single credit. If you decide to stay, you become a member. If you decide not to stay, you owe me nothing and it'll be on my dime. There's nothing. I want to invest in all 151 of you that are here. So that is what I'm going to tell you. And you can only sign up at the 197 level. I'm not letting anybody sign up higher than that. The link should be in the chat box. Thank you, Vanessa. Um, it's voicedrops.net forward slash go. There's 151 of you here. Every single one of you should sign up. It's $1. I'm going to give you a week trial. I'm going to dedicate Sean, myself, are going to help you for the next week. Those that sign up, we'll, we'll work with you one-on-one -on, -one on your deals for a month. Nikki, Vanessa, and the whole team will be here nonstop supporting you. But every single one of you, I'm going to take every bit of financial risk off the table, and I'm going to, I'm going to pay for everything, every single thing. You, because I want, I want more members, but I want people that are winners and want to compete and want to be successful. And I'm willing to invest in 151 of you that are on this call, and find the 30 or 40 that really want to do it. And you guys will stay, and the others will go, and I spend a little bit of money, but that's okay. I promise you it works. I don't know how to show you anything else. I don't know how to keep it any realer than playing messages and showing you results. And I called Sean out of his office to come and help us. At the end of the day, if you don't have a lot of clients, get on board right now on my dime. Right now. All right.
So, yeah, we'll put the uh, put the link here. Yeah, I'm worn out from that whole political thing, you guys. I am so exhausted. Like, I haven't been exhausted in a long time. Um, I'll put the link. Uh, I'll put the link here. Some of you are asking here. Uh, awesome. Thank you, Shane. Um, okay, good, good. Lots of lots of people. Okay. Um, so the cost on the monthly. So let me go to that. That's a great question. I told you the three level, or or I showed you, but I, we didn't get a lot of time to talk about it. We do three levels. None of you should sign up for anything but the cheapest. One, why would you buy the most expensive if you're not even a member at the lowest level? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. Um, you only are allowed, Vanessa, do not let them sign up for anything but the cheapest link, first of all. So you get 3,500 credits. All of you can, I'm giving those to you. I want you to stay, I want you to be involved, but... I want to keep it real. So let me show you. Hey, keeping it real. For everybody that signs up for the trial, I'm going to give you one of my proposals. Actually, it's Sean's proposal. <laughs> Sean, I'm giving your proposal away. Um, this is uh, Sean's. You got to sign up. Um, Ray, Vanessa will help you, Ray Johnson. So Vanessa will help Ray. Um, you don't have to buy leads. I'm going to provide all the leads for you. Every single one of them. Every single one of them, uh, Brian. Brian C., it will absolutely work for Wi-Fi marketing business. I know Kevin Z. and a lot of other people in that business. I know it really well. So let me show you. Yeah, Alfred asked, can you talk about the fees you charge a client? Let's go over that right now. There's 140 left. I want to see 140 of you sign up. It's absolutely free. I'm probably never going to do this again. But I'm pretty excited that I won this election, and Vanessa said do something awesome. So I'm going to eat all of your costs. I'm going to give you the trial, but I'm actually going to give you credits instead of making you buy them. So as I go through this proposal, this is for insurance, I think. I don't know. I stole it from Sean, you guys. This is uh, this might be um, this is his merchant services. Hold on. Let me, let me go his insurance one. I like the insurance one. Um, Hang on. Nope, not, not a PTO meeting. I just pulled up a PTO meeting. That is not what we wanted. Let's see. How about... Here it is. All right. So on the insurance side, we do three packages. And you can I'll give you the script. Vanessa, everybody who attended, let's send, the, send this proposal to them so they can have um please i'm sorry i didn't mean to bark um three ninety seven seven ninety seven and twelve ninety seven are the packages that we're doing Yeah, I have a database of anything you can almost dream up. Okay, so yeah, let's go back to script writing. But I'm going to send you this proposal, and you can tweak and use it however you want. Um, let's go back to script writing. I know I have a slide on that somewhere. Um, hold on, let me see. What I usually do, Todd is I get a bunch of members together on our live call on Monday. Like, let's say you guys are all on the call, and I do something like this. This is 100% this is real. Let's see. We do this. All right. I go, nope, don't cancel the webinar. I go here. Nope, nope, nope. Hang on a second. Um, let, me, let me open up a different presentation. Um, all right, here it is. All right, here we go, real estate, Todd, right? So, fulfill for the client. Hi, this is Bev. Interested in selling your home to take advantage of this hot market? Call for a free estimate. Hello, we are selling homes in 30 to 45 days, right? Boom, boom. Hi, this is whatever, right? We're all different scripts, because 
I don't know what works, and neither do you. So then I'll go to the next slide, and I'll say, Todd, <laughs> give me his script. Ray Johnson, give me a script. Matter of fact, let's keep this live. Somebody give me a script for real estate, I'm going to test it out. You guys just write it in the box, and I'm going to cut and paste it in. So let me be real clear because I jumped a little bit since I skipped all the, the, I skipped all the content slides, Andy, and let me go back to it. Um, I'm going to give you the software system. I'm going to give you access to it, but I'm going to give you done for you. When you get logged in in the members area, you're in. You can go right to the software, top left, software login and log in. But what I'm going to do is you're going to get 100% done for you. You're going to want a list. You're going to go here, and you're going to say, <coughs> excuse me, um, there's a list request uh, on the on the homepage of the of the site, and you're going to say, give me a list, you know, of list type. And then when you get a list, you're going to say, I want to send out this script to that list, and I'm going to pay for it all. And then you're going to take calls back, and you're going to land clients. So business list requests. So like as an example, um, Andy, um, you're going to give me this information. You're going to name your list. How would you like it delivered? Upload to my account or email me the file. Um, what state? Give me these criteria. Blah, 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 right? Now, maybe you landed a client in the first three days, and now you're like, well, shoot, I want to fulfill for this client. So you're going to say, possibly, you might want to use our consumer list, all right? Up to five cities, age range, birth, income, it's an estimate, property value, homeowner status, blah, blah, blah. You're going to submit it. We're going to provide it for you. There's a form also in here where you can say, hey, run my job on Tuesday. We do require 24 hours notice just for turn times because if we don't, it would uh, it would cause a revolt on my team. They'd get mad. Nikki's a really nice lady, but she'd get mad. And Sean would probably beat me up too. So Larry W. just said, I love this one. Oh my God, that is, Larry, I like it. Hold on, we got a new script to test certain areas, Sean. I'll write it down. You guys, a quick aside, because when you get a good script, you don't want to mess it up. Um, can you guys see this? Yeah, we'll test it. We'll test it out, Larry, just to see how it goes. So, um, on a serious note, though, everything can be done for you, or you can self-service. Work at your own pace in seconds because it's mindless to do. It takes me like five minutes to do any of it. We have super simple get started videos. None of these hour-long videos that 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 crush you out, right? Right on the home page tells you exactly what to do. Pick a niche, write a script, take one of ours, request done for you. And it, you can obviously do it yourself, and we show you how to do it and stuff like that. But it's super simple. Ooh, I like this one, Mike. Um, need to move to Canada after the election? <laughs> Call us today. Um, that's a good one. That's Chick. Play that in California. Oh, here's a great question from Alfred. Um, for charging a client, say, $7.97 a month for the service, how do we make sure we don't exceed our wholesale costs? So glad you asked that. I'm going to do a training on Monday again on this topic since you brought it up. Um, I think it's a good topic. So let me show you. I like to do stuff like this, Larry. Um, and it, it's, it's a reasonable, or no, that was Alfred. Um, I think it's, yeah, here it is. Let me give you an example. All right, so let's let's look at this. Um, so let's look at this. Let's let's say you're doing a flat fee instead of per lead. And 
It's all about ROI. Anything you do is about ROI. It is not how much you make, but how much you keep. 131 people left. Every one of you need to sign up. It is free. Now, I want obviously, I want a percentage of you to stay, but I'm going to eat the cost for all of you. I've taken some time to calculate ROI for you on some, some projects here. So on a sample one, uh, Alfred, your ROI is about, you know, on this sample here, 284%. I show your hard costs and what you're charging you on. This is one of the sample scenarios that I do. On one of the 797 scenarios, now my ROI goes down as on the three packages because I, I'm, making, um, I'm making them more attractive to the customer for me. You can do whatever you want, but you can see, and this is with the highest possible prices you can pay. Now we do allow you to buy more credits that are in the course. Uh, that, that come in the monthly. And so we have this whole thing on platinum or landline, and you can buy more drops. So you buy more, you pay less. You know, so anywhere between two and three cents on the landline side. Um, and you can get the RVM pretty low. It, it, it goes on volume, that's all. So, okay. Yeah, if you're already a member through Revenue Boosters or Voice Drops, this is a good review for sure, Roger. Um, let's see. If I'm serving local clients, is there a fee for the list? No, I will create the list. Or I, well, I say I. One of our team will create the list, and we do not charge you any fee at all. It's just a courtesy for being a member. Would this work for home security systems? Yes. And the reason, the, the, the goal on that is the script. Can I get a list in certain cities? Jill, yes. You could ask for three cities. You know, we will, do, we will do whatever you want. Can this replace press one systems that use toll-free numbers? Yes. Good question. Um, yeah, you get all the scripts in the members area. Armando, good question. There's a bunch of scripts in there, all the ones we talked about. Uh, Ryan, I waived that 1030 on the site license. I waived all that is what it said on the slide. So you get, as a member, you get several thousand credits a month. Now, you're going to end up using them because it works. You know how you buy some products and you never really use it, and you're like, well, that was a waste. This is different. <laughs> this is different. You're going to use all the credits, and it's possible you will buy more. The only reason you're going to buy more is because you're having people call and you're taking calls and you're landing clients. If you weren't, you would never buy more. Any niche you want, um, you can work in any niche. If you want to work in, if you want to call alarm companies like uh, somebody asked, I have a good friend of mine who works for an alarm company chain in South, uh, in Florida called uh, Sonatrol. I know it works. I've worked with him already, so I know it works. Now here's an interesting, um, Wes, the answer is no, let me be honest. Wes is talking about a financial planner investment kind of thing aimed in the Canadian market for people willing to invest 10000 or more at a higher than normal interest rate. I don't have a good script, but here's, here's what you would do in this case, Wes. You would take 500 numbers with three different scripts, and we would run them all and test them. And what happens? One of them is going to perform better than the other two, and that's going to be your go-forward script. And then you scale it up. Anybody in a B&I group, uh, Yvonne, would be perfect. Independent insurance agencies are absolutely my 100% favorite. Um, yeah, this is simplicity, y'all. Um, it's a good question, Ryan. I won't read everything you said, but there... We, here's what happened. I had everybody doing it themselves. I had everybody doing it themselves. And then I realized that a lot of people weren't using the system. Uh, a lot of people weren't. So how do I make it better? I hired three new people, taught them everything they need to know, have them sitting. You, you heard me. I yelled for Sean. Um, Sean, Nikki, and others are sitting right here, and they sign up, and, and they basically sign up and help you. Sign up and help you. They basically work with and help you. So instead, 
most of you don't have a team of eight or ten people. I get it. I totally get it. Well, we do, and we can help you leverage our team to help do all the nitty-gritty. Even though it's not very hard, we'll do the nitty-gritty for you, so all you do is fill out a form and request, and then get the results. Now, you can do it yourself, because 24-hour turn time may not work for some of you. Definitely, uh, Martin, you can do it. Um, we will actually tell you when we create the list. We'll tell you. Um, we'll tell you whether the the numbers are sell or landline. Alfred, good question. Yeah, our system manages all the numbers for you. I don't have a good Wi-Fi script, Brian, but I'm willing to create one with you. If you want to brainstorm on a few, we'll test them out. Yeah, we'd be happy to help you close them, uh, Yvonne. Okay. If I'm able to close a deal, no, when? Get rid of if, Vanessa. Hey, 124 of you left. Every single one of you should sign up. There's no reason not to. You can quit and you won't break my heart, but I know some percentage of you will be successful. And even if it doesn't work for you, just cancel. And I'm not going to be mad at it. I'm not going to take it personal. It, it works. 123 of you on the call right now. So don't miss out. Um, Vanessa, put the, let me put the link up again. So um, a lot of people are asking me that. Hang on a sec. And then I want to take some of these questions because there's a bunch of good ones here. Um, and I like the fact that they're, they're very specific questions. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me, you guys. Um, all right. So there's your link. So if I'm able to close a deal or when Vanessa is able to close a deal, what method do you teach to get the credit card? Vanessa, when you close it and get the credit card, are you saying how do you process it? You can use FreshBooks. It has integration in with Stripe and or something called WePay. It's a very easy system and it does recurring. I like it. If you don't, you can use um, you can even use PayPal if you wanted, but uh, and do credit card through PayPal on a virtual recurring. But I like I like the fresh book a little better. Prepaid funeral, you can absolutely do it. It comes down to the script on that one, Shane. Health and wellness, yes. Yeah, you can change to any niche you want. We don't lock you in at all. That's a good question by Brent. No, thanks, Jimmy. Um, yeah, Alfred, alarm companies work. And alarm companies, just so you know, I, I mean, you probably already know this, their whole business model is about recurring monthly revenue. They call it RMR. And guess what? You can drive a lot of RMR to them. Um, yeah, Casey said, how is the actual sale transacted? Um, so Casey, if you do some voice drops to, and you generate, let's say you're calling AC contractors, and you generate 23 phone calls that call you, now you could do it in your town, or you can do it in a different city, it doesn't matter. So if you live in a town of 300, you can market in any city. If you live in England, you can market in the US. It doesn't matter. Cool. Um, okay. We do not provide call tracking. I highly suggest that you use a call tra tracking program. Two suggestions. There's two names, callfire.com, no monthly fee, you just pay by usage. Or you can get a better rate if you use my friend Joe Troyer's product called Analytic Call Tracking. Uh, we have a link in the members area for Analytic Call Tracking. You get a better rate, but he has a monthly fee. So good question. Okay. Um, yeah, it, when you sign up, it takes like 15 or 20 minutes, and you'll get your credentials in the email. Uh, can you, um, let's see. Yeah, oh, it's a great question. Alfred, thank you. Great question. What happens if a client has their own list? That's even better because now you're going to use their list, and the conversion rates are going to go up. Car dealerships are great with their own lists. 
We'll do the dollar trial a couple days, Brian. Probably maybe through Sunday, Sunday or Monday. I, I honestly hadn't figured it out. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I have some ideas on network marketing, Jessica. I, I've seen some other people in different. It doesn't really matter on the program. You really now, Jessica. I'll be honest with you. To be successful using it for network marketing, you have to have a good front end list. I don't have network marketing lists, but you can use normal consumer lists. You'll just get a lower result. You probably can find opportunity seeker lists. You know, if you talk to other people that are involved in that. Um, all right. What is the average callback rate from the consumer? Example in the insurance niche. You know, that's why we test those scripts too, Eddie. That's a good question. Anywhere between one and fourteen percent is the scripts that we've tested. Fourteen percent is our best converting callback. Um, let me hey, let me let me make this more real for you. Um, how do I do this? Hang on a second. Hundred and twelve. Every one of you should sign up. It's free. I'm going to pay. <laughs> um, if you don't, you're crazy. Um, I mean that with all respect. So hang on, hang on. I saw a good script. Or I saw a good callback. Um, there was a good one I was just listening to. Sometimes when I'm bored, I listen to these things. Um, let me play this for you, um, Eddie. Hi, this is Jennifer Vaughn. Uh, yeah, you call this number? Uh, yes, yeah, so I was just checking in with you with your Medicare birthday coming up to see how everything was going with getting stuff set up for Medicare. Uh, I'm not quite there yet, okay? Oh, okay. You, are you still taking your time looking into things? Do you see how he was hot? You guys see how he was upset? I'm going to go to the end of the message. I'll, it's a nine-minute call. Okay, and that, that goes straight to the office, so can I give you my cell phone number? After 10 minutes, they exchanged, conf they exchanged information. Pretty cool. Yes, Robert Wolf. Yeah, we, we scrubbed the list, Ryan, Ryan K. Are you, is that Ryan Kramer or no? Um, it's crazy um, how, how good the calls are. All right. 112 of you are absolutely crazy if you haven't signed up yet. Give me, give me uh, something in the Q&A box if you have or if you haven't. And I'm happy to help you, but I am going – what am I doing? I have to go. I have a hard stop at 4. I'm taking my kid, my daughter to ballet or, I don't know, jazz, some kind of dance class at 4.30. But we'll do questions for the next few minutes for sure. Um, the dollar trial – it's awesome, guys, because I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend my money for you to use the system. And you're going to like it. I, I know you are. And I'm going to assign Sean to help full-time on this effective tomorrow morning. <coughs> Vanessa, will you check Adam Garcia? Jimmy, so... Hey, Jimmy Hoskins, welcome. Um... Yeah, Brent. Brent said, help, if I start with one niche, I get leads for that niche, but if I change niches, can I get a whole new list? Yes. Brent, you can request a new list every single day as far as I'm concerned. I pay a flat fee for the data, the money we're spending. I would love to get value out of it. It, it is a way that we add value for you. So I don't care if you request a new list every single day. Brian, in the members area, start a post and tag me, and let's brainstorm some scripts publicly, and we'll get other people helping us too. And um, I'm happy to work on that. And, and you know what? If you're, Are you working with Kevin Zykerman at all or no? I know there's two or three companies that do that. If you are with him, I'll call him. Um, I'll call him and ask him for some of his scripts. Um Usually you get no credits for the dollar trial. Like I'm, uh, I'm gonna do something special and give you guys credits. A couple thousand. I don't know how many. Uh, Vanessa, you can see how many credits it is. Uh, let's see. We give you a, um, yeah, with Kevin. Okay. Um, yep. It doesn't matter what Wi-Fi company. At the end of the day, it's the same business problem. So. 
Vanessa, can you jump on? Are, are you there, Vanessa? I know you're usually in the background, I bet. Hello, maybe? She might be here. All right, I'll hit, I'll hit her up in a second. Um, let's see. All right. Let me see. I think she's answering a lot of questions. Okay. All right, I'm going to take, let me take five or ten more questions here. There's a bunch of them. Um, let's see. Oh, she's muted, she says. No, Vanessa, you're not muted. You're not muted. Try again. <laughs> Vanessa is my ops manager. You know, she's phenomenal. She's here, and I wanted to, I wanted to get her, get her on to help me do some of the questions, if that's okay, you guys. Um, all right. Um, how long does it take before you start making calls? We do a 24-hour turn time. Vanessa, yeah, check your mic. Something's something's crazy. Um, how long does it take? So you can fill it out tonight, request a list. You'll have the list back, and you can fill out the form, and you can get this thing rolling. I'll do my best to reduce the turn times during the trial so that I don't waste everybody's time. And I'll try to assign another person to cut the turn times down for you guys. Um, I, I need to test some new solar scripts. I've got one that's working right now. Um, at the end of the day, the, the general message, Michael, is you want an open-ended question that doesn't deceive the end recipient, but gets them, uh, gives them enough information they're interested to call back without telling them enough that they can decide without talking to you. Yeah, the 30 days of help closing, um, just after you sign up in your first 30 days. And, and listen, at the end of the day, if you need help after that, Bandwidth available will always help you. I mean, we try to do the right thing. We, we really do try to operate by the golden rule, which is just sort of help and do right by everybody when we can. Yeah, John Foster says, you will pull a list for us in whatever niche we ask. Yes. Um, yeah, per call response, um, Roger. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so Roger, Roger, I won't read all that out loud. What niche is it that you're charging five dollars a callback? That may actually be low. I think you could double or triple that at least in most niches. But I won't read out all the math. Everything looks pretty good, but I would I would laser in on that callback cost. Yeah, okay, so VJ has a great question. How easy is it to feed the list provided by the client into your system? In what format is it required? Excel or CSV, VJ, so basically anything. Hey, can you hear me now? There you go. <laughs> See, go to webinar. It likes to mess with the audio visuals. <laughs> what can I help with now that I'm here? All right, how many credits... Um, how many credits... Is it like 3,000 or 3,500 credits? 3,500. You get 1,000 RVM credits and 2,500 landline credits. Okay, great. You guys, that should be enough to land. Your, your phones will light up, and you will have a lot of calls, and you will, you will likely land a couple clients. I don't want to guarantee anything, but you will likely land a few clients. Um, Vanessa said, your opinion on offering a two- versus a four-week trial I wouldn't give any of them a trial, Vanessa. They, they sign up. We're signing them up all day long with no trial. You could do it. What you could do is charge a setup fee, Vanessa, and waive the setup fee. Yeah, we have lots and lots of training on how to close deals, um, sales training. We do live training on Mondays, and um, it's pretty good, you guys. Um, honestly, I will tell you that I mean, I've been doing this a long time, and we've honed it over the last few years. It keeps getting a little better. Um, we do record. If you want us to record the messages, we'll do them in English. We have one Spanish speaker. It's only a, it's a gentleman. Um, my French is a little weak. I might be able to do it in French, but, you know, English, usually what I'm seeing is most messages in English, and, and uh, I like... Um, I like a Midwest kind of voice, like Sean's that was just in here. 
for some reason it just converts pretty well. Now if I was in rural South Carolina, I wouldn't want Sean's voice, I'd want a local voice. Um, so, you know, it varies by, you know, by accent, regional accents. And they right. stopped there's over a hundred of you here, guys. There's over a hundred of you here. Um, I would love to answer anything specific. I would love for you all to join us and try this. Um, yeah, BJ, uh, reach out to Vanessa with a message and, and we'll take care of you. Um, let's see. Yeah, if somebody needs Spanish, I got somebody. Um, thanks, Kenny. Um, now, you can sell anything you want to sell. Let me be clear. With voice drops, if you're doing reputation, authority, you know, like I talked about, you can do anything you want. Now, in my opinion, if you're not already killing it in some niche or with some product or service, do what we're doing. What we're doing is selling leads or voice drops, and we vary it. So when I sell voice drops, you'll see the proposal. I'll, I, I'll shoot it. I, this is going to send it to everybody who signed up. Actually, everybody who attended will give it to. If you attended live, you get the proposal. If you didn't, file a support ticket saying you heard this on the replay, and we'll give it to you too. We'll make you jump through a hoop. Not to be rude, but I want to always be better to the guys that are here. So, yes, Johan, on the sign-up, yes. Um, setup fee, I like, depending on the deal, 100 to $200, Alfred. Yes, Andy has a good question. If I were to get an insurance client to sell a business lead for insurance agent, workers comp, etc., I could easily use a system for both. Andy, we are using me personally in the office, and you heard that healthcare lead is one of ours. Um, we are landing insurance agents, and we are landing clients for the insurance agents using our system, including business insurance. All right. Um, yeah, Brian, sign up. Um, sign up, and then just let Vanessa know, and she'll adjust your trial date. Um, Greg, oh, it's Greg asking about Monday. I think we'll make it available through the weekend, and then kill the deal. Um, oh, very cool, Andy. I'd love, man, Andy. I would love to have you as a guest on a call sometime. I mean, that would be awesome training. Andy is a former Fortune 500 insurance trainer. That would be that'd be excellent. Um, let's see. All right, awesome. Okay, well, listen, you guys. Any specific question? If you're on this call, oh, somebody said, "What's a good per lead price?" Look at Service Magic, now known as Home Advisor. We we have their price sheet somewhere. Most of the time, I'm in the twenty-five dollar a lead range. Some people are more. Um, that was, Roger was asking and a few others. Um, what we'll do is we will commit to doing, I've got a really good quick start training and Vanessa and I will do a bunch of training calls with you guys. Just, we will make you successful in the next seven days. I will try, Vanessa, I'm going to try to get Sean working with Nikki. I want to speed up the, uh, the turn time on all the jobs. And then I want to get, maybe me and you will do a bunch of calls next week, kind of breaking apart your two-week get start, and we'll, we'll use that to kind of do some fast start calls. You guys, you can absolutely do it. I, I, Ken Lengel did over 50 drops this month, this past month in October. Um, and the reason Ken's doing it is he's testing and he's, he's working with different clients. He's landing clients. It absolutely works. Um, what else? Yeah, right, Ray Johnson. Lead prices, um, let's see. Hey, Brian, now, okay, yeah. Yep, go, go ahead, Vanessa. And then, oh, yeah, I just, I've, I've seen a couple of questions that I could jump in on. Um, yeah, one really, jump in. I'm just going to talk One really great question um, that I keep seeing is um, the credits, like, how are they consumed? Um, if a drop doesn't land correctly or if a landline drop is interrupted, those credits aren't consumed. With voice drops, you only pay for drops are only consumed when a successful drop is made. When a drop is, or a voicemail or an audio file is completely uploaded or played, 
for an answering machine or a voicemail. So busy numbers, minutes, garbledy gook data problems, they do not cost you anything. And the other question I keep seeing is about lists. Uh, I know Brian's talked a lot about lists, but people are saying, where do I get these leads? How do I get these lists? With the membership, one of our done for you services is unlimited list generation. And I know Brian said it, but I keep seeing the question and I can only imagine that it just sounds too good to be true. <laughs> so I'm gonna jump in and tell you it's true. We have a database uh, constantly updated with public records, millions of lists. And so every single day, you could jump into the website and tell us just some basic information, state, city, niche. I want restaurants in Atlanta, or I want homeowners in New York. And our team will generate a custom list for you and deliver it within 24 hours. Now that list will consist of both landlines and cell phones. But our system can tell the difference. When you load a list of both into an RVM, only cell phones get dropped. And if you load it up on our done for you side, when we load it up for landlines, only land guy, landlines gets dropped. But we've built a combo package, which we recommend that you do every time, where between the two, every single possible number is at least attempted. So that's the list question answered. No, uh, one credit per, oh, and the other question is one credit equals one drop, yes. And so like you said, if a, if a drop doesn't go through, it doesn't count. Right, so it's, not consumed, yeah. All right, uh, uh, the training on Monday is at 2 p.m. Eastern. The trial is good for a week for the dollar trial. Let me warn you guys, let me see how many is on this call. For the 100 plus that are on this call, you'll probably never cancel. Of course, we'll let you to cancel, and we're totally cool about it, but it works. <laughs> I'm getting over a, a little bit of a cough, but um, it, it just works, you guys. We'll see you in the members area. Joseph, thank you. Sell versus landline. We typically see about one-third sell, two-third landline, <coughs> uh, Andy. And, and Andy, I'll tell you, in insurance, we've been killing it with landline. I agree with you on the sell, but... The landline's been working really well. Um, can we set up clients who have really small lists of their own clients? Yes, uh, Albert, yes. Do you have a package without a monthly recurring cost? Actually, we used to do that, VJ, but we we stopped. At this point, the only, um, for our resellers and stuff, the only, what I would say is this, sign up. If you don't want to continue after a month, you know, kill it. And, and you know it considered a one month a one month cost. And if you kill it, I'll leave access. You you'll retain access to log in, and all that. You just you wouldn't get any new credits, and you wouldn't be able to buy credits or anything like that. But for what you have, you know, I'll, I'll you'd have that access. VJ, it is. I know it's hard to believe, but you will literally generate lots of inbound calls. Uh, we have a lady named uh, Lisa. She uses a company called Jill's. What's it called, Vanessa? Jill's um, Jill's office. Jill's, Jill's office. I think. Jill's office. Mm -hmm. She's got this Jill's office taking the calls and converting them to her appointments for. Her. I have to introduce you guys. Um, yes, Brian Weathers. Exactly to your question, Vanessa answered it. Um, so we can generate leads for clients. Yes, Armando. So we could resell this product. Yes, that's what I would recommend, John Foster. Um, and you could upgrade at these rates at any time. Um, yeah, to the other package rates. Yes, I don't want you to. I don't want you all to spend more money right now until you've used it. Do you have success with selling SEO? So, and Michael asked about SEO too. Yes, but it it comes down to the voice message on that one, Jason. And we'll share some stuff on that with you. Yeah, we'll be happy to help you guys on the closing of deals, um, Jimmy Hoskins. Yes, you can cancel at any time. Um, yeah, there's no, like, craziness or silliness about that at all. There's no lock-in. There's no nothing. Every credit we have rolls. There's no expiration or any of that kind of jazz. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend anybody, whether you have a ton of money or not very much money, starting at the highest level, 
I strongly recommend. That's why I was yelling at Vanessa to only let let you guys access the lowest level. And the only difference is you get more personal interaction at the highest level, but at the end of the day, you get more credits. Is the big one. Um, now, John Foster, when I mean resell it, I mean. So, are you asking, would you want to sell voice drops itself, or would you want to sell voice drops to local businesses? Um, but just put in a ticket, and we'll figure it out for you. Uh, get support, not biz. Network marketing scripts work well, provided um, provided your uh, you have opportunity secret list. I don't have good opportunity secret lists, um, Johan, but I've I have other members that are doing network marketing with opportunity secret lists, and they buy a lot of credits. A lot of them are spending. I have two guys that spend a thousand dollars a week on credits. And they're both in network marketing. So, yes. Yeah, selling leads, Brian, is such an easy, uh, Brian Weathers, it's an easy sell because it's what they want to buy. And then what's, what's interesting is after you have the trust and relationship, you can upsell. Yeah, so we're, we're Adrian. We're only going to keep it open until Sunday. If you want to start, if you want to come in and then just postpone your trial, let Vanessa know, and I'll I'll let you do that for being live on the call. So if you want to do your trial in like two weeks or something like that, if you're traveling for work or whatever it may be, um, I'll, I'll take care of you on that. Um, let's see. All right. Any other? Okay. Chris Swain. Chris just said so. If HR list is say homeowners in Atlanta it would be more than 3500 in the list so how did that work well you would just segment it down to 3500 hypothetically Chris on that one yeah so voice drops work seamlessly in the US and Canada in the next probably three months we're gonna release Australia and maybe the UK those are the two that we're looking at but we're not there yet um, being honest All right, and okay. If you were to sell leads, you would use a call tracking number system, Andy Ria, and I would just use one that offered a whisper call. I, I I can share with you in the members area the one I use, and it does whisper calls. Yeah, you can use like ACT through Twilio. It works work exactly. It works fine. Personal injury scripts. I, I don't have any scripts on personal injury. Hey, Mario. I don't have any personal injury scripts. Um, I, I haven't targeted attorneys, honestly. Um, I mean, I'm open to looking at some script ideas with you, but I definitely don't have uh, I definitely don't have some good scripts on it. Um, just being, being straight about it. Um, can we upgrade? Yes. Um, yeah, we, you can get, we, we, we have access to attorneys if you want that list. Um, yeah, and if you're in the UK, you can actually market in the US from the UK, and no one will know you're in the UK. And people in the US tend to respond at a pretty high conversion rate to UK and Australian accent, by the way. We have a few Australians that are having some success for that as well. All right, well, I'm going to lock this up, you guys. Oh, uh, on financial planners, Michael Michael Remmer, um, really they have internal problems with compliance. They have a lot of rules to jump through. Anybody that sells licensed securities, there's just a, a lot of hurdles to get any marketing approved. That's all. It's just frustrating. The only additional cost beyond a subscription cost is if you use if you want to use more credits than you have. And it's a good problem because the only reason you would do that is if it's working in your landing clients and making money. Yeah, VJ, we, we don't violate any U.S. or U.K. law at all because we don't actually make a call. Mobile websites, I, I haven't been selling them with this, Todd, but... 
It all comes down to the script on the front end. Everything, you guys, comes down to the front end script, for sure. All right, and no, I don't have any consumer data on assets. It's a good question. Um, I have income and home value, Michael, but not um, not assets. I mean, you can buy anything. I just just being candid, I don't have it. Um, support is get support biz is a URL, and you can just fill it out. Um, yeah, Alfred, when you sign up, it takes sometimes, you know, five or ten minutes. It's just the delay on the tracking system and all that jazz. All right, you guys, well, I'm going to lock it down. So, Brian, can I, can I answer one question yeah. publicly? Because I've got it a lot pouring in right here. I'm seeing so many people okay. I can't type fast enough. <laughs> so many people have just bought into the trial, and they're asking me, what do I do to get started? And so my first recommendation is claim your vouchers. The only way credits are applied to your account monthly is if you claim your voucher. There's a link on your homepage. Two, watch the five can't skip videos. Three, join the Facebook group. And we will welcome you with open arms and help you with anything you need. So that's homework for all y'all that bought the trial today to get the most out of it. Yeah, you guys, it's, um, it's a good point, Vanessa. When you, when you sign up and log into the members area, I'll just show you. Um, hang on a sec. Let's see. Unfreeze the screen. Five can't skip videos, right? Right here. Everything you need to know, and this is a little flow chart. Um, claim your voucher, pick a niche, any niche you want. Write a script or use one of ours. Request your done for you service and you're off and running. That's it. It takes seconds. And then any questions that those videos or that process brings up, you can ask me at getsupport.biz. We've got a team of people that will answer you practically immediately. Our turn times are at 98th percentile of the in industry standard, and we are always in Facebook. It pings me awake sometimes at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not promising to answer all questions at 2 o'clock in the morning, but it has been known to happen. Well, and guys, um, all of our support is, is here in the U.S., we don't have any support that interacts with customers that's non-native English U.S. speakers. So I, all I'm trying to say is that, you know, we have a really good team and credit to Vanessa on that. And uh, the, reason, the reason that we do that, the reason that we, uh, that we invest in the team is the better the quality of the people that we have, the more likely that we're going to be able to make you successful. So... Um, any last questions before we wrap this up? There's 96 of you on the call. It's a buck. I'm going to eat the credit cost. If you don't like it, you get your buck back. So it's about as good as it gets, y'all. Voicedrops.net forward slash go. Uh, you, yeah, Brian said it yeah. usually takes about five minutes to get your user ID and password. If you don't see it, just send me a ticket at getsupport.biz. So I can find it in your account, and I will send it to you. Uh, the, the membership site with the training is instant access. We manually create your software account, and it takes no more than 24 hours. It will be done by tomorrow morning. But that will give you time to train and explore the site, check out some scripts, listen to some audio files, and then jump into the software tomorrow morning. All right. Did, is Brian disconnected? Oh. <laughs> Looks like we just lost Brian. I'm here. Uh, I'm going to wrap everything up. I haven't seen any new... Yep, there he went. <laughs> All right. Uh, one thing I got is I got an email but no password. Again, www.getsupport.biz. Let me know the email address you registered with your purchase, and I will send you your password. And... All right, that's it, everybody. I will be on the support desk late tonight to help make sure you guys all get set up and running. Uh, and then it's going to be an exciting day tomorrow, having everybody added to the Facebook group and seeing all your new faces and helping everybody launch into the stratosphere because this is a really exciting time. So thank you all so much for joining us. I have this recorded. We're going to have it 
uh, published, and I will email it out to all registrants so you'll get it at no time. Again, it will be posted at voicedrops.net backslash go as soon as it's available. Thanks, everybody. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you later.